This is a big wide cabin from uh, Brazil. Came all the way here from Brazil. And it's not only wide. Look how deep this cabin is. Why would it have all this room back here? The reason is because in Brazil, this can also be a four-seat airplane. Works well as a four-seater in Brazil, where it's often used by cattle ranchers in that vast country because they have to fly over a lot of heavily treed area to get to where their ranch is. And this makes a nice little transport air form, airplane for them. Uh, does so at a very economical price, and uh, they've been well received in Brazil. Now Paradise USA has brought them to the United States, certified it as a special light sport aircraft. How did they get a four-place airplane into the light sport category? Took out two seats, basically, and then just placarded or limited the amount of weight that it's allowed to carry. Under the rule here, you can only have 1,320 pounds as a light sport aircraft category. This airplane has been certified or approved to fly with about 1,600 pounds, so they had more than enough carrying capacity in the airplane. But what it allows is you can carry an animal along with you, you can carry lots of luggage, or if you want, you could stretch out in this space and do a little camping in the airplane if you wanted. Makes it kind of a nice choice. And I understand they actually outfitted one of these for uh, paraplegic pilots. They did. They have a hand control system so that uh, for someone who does not have the use of their legs, they can operate the entire airplane just with their hands, which is a really nice thing they've done. And indeed, they already sold one down at the Sebring Air Show to the first customer, a very nice young fellow named Dylan, I believe. And he's delighted to have his Paradise P1, this is called. And look at the interior finish to this. Very nice carbon fiber accents on the... Uh, on the control wheel and on the door panels. A nice clean instrument panel with what's called an instrument uh, throttle quadrant, including some of your other engine and uh, trim controls. And then what type of construction you used in this? This is an all metal airplane, well, except for some fiberglass components, but mostly a metal airplane, riveted structure throughout, and a conventional tri-gear setup, so very easy for a new pilot to get used to, very comfortable for an experienced pilot as well. And what type of control systems are used in it? Well, this one, uh, another one that's kind of rare that we found out here in the Light Sport Aircraft Mall, uses control yokes, just like pilots are used to in their Cessna, Piper, Beechcraft, all those modern GA airplanes use a similar method of control, uh, but also with full rudder pedals and tow brake construction. Now, does it have a steerable nose wheel on it as well? Yes, this has a steerable nose wheel and uses the popular Rotax 912 100 horsepower engine, turning a three-blade prop in the front. And what kind of uh, cruise speeds in that, uh, come, uh, does it uh, give us? I think uh, cruising this airplane is about in the 110 mile per hour range at a comfortable cruise and can achieve slightly more than that with a little bit of extra push, which the engine is capable of delivering. And if they wanted to get more information, uh, where would we go? You would go to paradiseaircraft.us, not .com, .us. So paradiseaircraft.us. And do you have a flight report on this airplane? I have completed a flight report on this airplane, Dave, and that is available at my website, which is bydanjohnson.com. That's bydanjohnson.com.